This is my VacMaster Cardio 54 fan. It blows air at my face, sometimes at my torso, rarely on my groinal region. I use it when I'm riding on my Wahoo Kicker indoor trainer, a V5 kicker if you're interested. And this is my review. Hashtag not sponsored. Spoiler alert, this dispatch from the Velo Vlogging Frontline might tend towards the effusive. It's not a paid endorsement though. I bought this VacMaster myself. Actually, that's not quite true. I got it for Christmas from my wife. That's right, I've given my permission for her to take paid employment. So if you do detect any bias, it is the profound emotional response to my beloved buying me a gift, which was in no way precisely the thing I specified she buy because she'd run out of ideas. The benefits of a fan went indoor cycling. I bought, requested the buying of, the VacMaster some nine months into my most recent indoor cycling journey. Until that point, I'd been using a cheap, I assume desktop fan that makes more noise than air movement. It was surprising, at least to me, how much the lack of a decent fan had been holding me back. The impact of the VacMaster was immediate. It turns out, who knew, that not overheating dramatically increases the work you can do in a training session and radically reduces your propensity to feel sick almost immediately after the first intense interval. It's likely that any decent fan would have brought about this epiphany, but for me it was the Cardio 54 what delivered it, so it occupies a special place in my loins. Using the VacMaster Cardio 54. Wrangling the Cardio 54 is so simple, it hardly warrants a separate video section, but sure, I'll throw a few words at it. You plug it in, you move it to a position to blow air and whatever appendage needs cooling, you click the on off switch and set the dial to whatever wind waft factor you want. The fan only blows in one direction, but you can position the unit itself in one of three orientations. So the air comes out either horizontally at floor level, vertically, uh, upwards or at a 45 degree angle. I only use the 45 degree setting. I can't see how the vertical angle could give you any blow without fouling the pedals. A flat to the floor setting is great if you want really cool pedal cleats. I suppose you could put it on a shelf or some other support. Now I've got a trainer desk the Lifeline Pro Trainer Desk, which gets in the way of airflow if the VacMaster is positioned directly in front of my bike. I therefore tend to position the fan out to the side at a sort of quarter angle, which works excellently. Take remote control of your cooling. The Cardio 54 has three settings, or four if you count off. According to the website, the three levels correspond to moving 349, 433 or 518 cubic feet of air per minute. The numbers mean absolutely nothing to me. Congrats if they do to you. But my experience is that the VacMaster is strong. I've rarely gone beyond the lowest setting, which is plenty powerful enough for most of my body cooling needs. The high setting nearly blows me off the bike. However, it's pleasing to know that if needed, the Cardio 54 can push sufficient air to rip my face off. <clears throat> and good news, you can switch between the blow settings from the discomfort of your saddle. The Cardio 54 has a remote control, which you can either wander around with, it's like a car key fob, or fix on the rubbery strap that mounts it to your handlebars. The remote control works well. It just works and it certainly beats having to get down off the bike each time you need to move up the Beaufort scale. We interrupt your normally scheduled programming for a quick sound comparison. Go! Conclusion setting three, which this is, is quite loud, but I don't frequently have it on setting three. Generally, I stick with setting one and I find it doesn't bother other family members and the dog too much. So as I did this sound test, such as it is, I noticed something strange. If I turn this on, this is setting one according to the dial. This is setting two according to the dial, but it appears to be a lower power and setting one, and this is setting three, which is definitely max power, which is odd, but not a particular issue, 
because I mainly use it on this remote control setting here. Power usage, or how much does the Cardio 54 cost to use? This section deals not with the incontinent trickle of power that dribbles out of my leg bazookas. Instead, we look at the wattage and the cost of the wattage required to run the VacMaster. And I have to make it sound interesting. And actually it is interesting because it's a lot cheaper than I was expecting. Even at the recent spike in electricity prices in the UK, an hour of Cardio 54 usage costs just over 6p, which is less than a dime and Merifans. So cost is a non-event, much like the output from my aforementioned quad cannons. VacMaster Cardio 54 versus the VacMaster Air Mover. The Cardio 54 is a fitness-specific version of the VacMaster Air Mover fan. The latter is aimed at a more general fan base. Why, thank you, I'm here all week. Both use the same 124 watt fan motor and the overall form factor is very similar. The standard VacMaster fan has a light grey and yellow bits, technical term, colour scheme. The Cardio 54 goes with a black with grey accents colourway, which is definitely smarter. The main differences, apart from the colour, is that the all-purpose VacMaster fan has an additional mains power socket on the front of the unit for plugging things into, and the Cardio 54 doesn't, and it doesn't have a remote control where the Cardio 54 does. From the VacMaster website, the additional power sphincter is for daisy chaining multiple fans together off a single mains power socket. I guess this could be useful if you train in a blast furnace with one plug socket, but for most velo folk like me, I'd suggest paying the Supson Extra for the Cardio 54 and its handy handlebar remote. So is the VacMaster Cardio 54 worth the money? The Cardio 54 costs around £100 in the UK, which as I type it isn't that cheap at all. Versus the Wahoo Headwind, of course, it's a bargain. The Wahoo unit, for which fan speed can be controlled actively by your speed, heart rate or an app, costs about two and a half times more. But if you anchor your prices off the general use fans, even the jumbo ones, it's a fair chunk of change. That said, the VacMaster seems to provide excellent air blowing performance, based on my limited experience. I like the ability to switch between the wind intensity settings with the handlebar remote. The grey colour scheme and design overall looks smart in my Hurt cabin. It's compact, almost boxy, in a cylindrical kind of way shape, makes it easy to pack out of the way when not in use. Overall then, I'm very happy with the VacMaster Cardio 54 and would recommend it to any enthusiastic indoor cyclista. And with that, I'm done. Give the video a like, watch another one, and I'll see you next time.